The aim of this study is to assess the direct opinion of the students on the use of a three-dimensional visualization tool for the study of complex structures such as those that make up the respiratory apparatus. All these correlated with magnetic resonance sections as a reference pattern of these structures and from which the anatomical structures of this thoracic body region have been reconstructed by segmenting them. Serial high-resolution magnetic resonance image sections entails in different sequences T1 and T2 in the three orthogonal planes, axial, coronal and sagittal, with a spacing of 0.5 mm, were used for the 3D the, uh, reconstructions of the anatomical structures. A 1.5 Tesla equipment was used to obtain the radiological images. Segmentation and delineation of regions of interest consisted of subdividing its acquired anatomical image into homogeneous regions. A medical image interaction application toolkit was used and developed to assist in data manipulation, registration and segmentation. Segmentation was based on manual delineation using commercial digital medical imaging software in DICOM, Digital Imaging and Communication in Medicine format. From each of the resulting regions of interest, a surface model composed of a mesh was obtained using the marching cubes procedure. Decimation algorithms were applied to the models to simplify and smooth them. The software application is developed for Windows platform and programmed in Visual C++. The developed user interface is very intuitive and user-friendly. Satisfaction surveys were carried out with a group of medical students, 35 students, with the aim of assessing and finding out the degree of teaching usefulness of this computer tool, considering a sufficiently representative number to obtain a sample to guide us on the student's satisfaction with the technological development presented. The Google form was used to collect the survey data. The data were processed with Microsoft Excel spreadsheet software, which allowed us to analyze and process all the survey data and present the different graphs. Our computational development consists of a collection of sectional magnetic resonance images in the three orthogonal axes of space as a reference for a comprehensive three-dimensional assessment of the anatomy of the respiratory tract. The results obtained from the survey carried out on the evaluation of the radiological anatomy software of morphological structures that form part of the respiratory system show very positive data in terms of satisfaction and learning through the use of this technological tool. The students highlight the software developed positively, with 43% of those survived indicating that it was easy to install and 54% that it was very easy. And practically 100% of users indicated that the application never or almost never crashes. Navigation through the program is very intuitive. Moreover, the 3D view of the anatomical structures facilitates their understanding and study. The brief explanatory comments on the anatomical structures displayed are well appreciated and the program interface is very intuitive and user-friendly, a response given by almost 100% of the users. In conclusion, the students who handled the computer tool developed considered it to be a very innovative computer design, which facilitates the study, understanding and learning of anatomical structures. 
Its attractive, dynamic, visual animated presentation facilitates the acquisition of the necessary and fundamental morphological knowledge of the respiratory system. Our computer development is totally controlled by the user, the student. It is the user who decides how to visualize the images and in the spatial position he, she wishes, so we consider our computer application to be a real teaching tool in which there is interaction between the computer and the user, thus avoiding, as far as possible, that the latter becomes a mere spectator. The introduction of these didactic technological tools in teaching considerably enriches the teaching-learning process. Learning by interacting with information motivates and provides students with an active attitude for autonomous and meaningful learning. Thank you very much.